Hey, y'all, I am back, I'm back, I am back with a dream today. Oh, man, that dream, I don't know, that was a trippy dream. I called it Wing Shoe Goddess because I was in a place where it was like, it was similar to Stonehenge. It was similar to it, but it was a building. But how the stone hinge looked, that's how the building looked. And I was against the big rock. It was some people hiding behind the rock. <laughs> and the lady was like, uh, she's right there. She's right there. She was talking about me. And I came flying over to her. And she looked at me like I was crazy or something. And she was like, I have to take my daughter. I have to take my daughter. They want my daughter. They want my daughter. So they ran upstairs in this building, and I think it was the grandma. So I went and knocked on the door to find out who this daughter is. And when the grandma came to the door, I knew that she was, I don't know how I knew the grandma was going to come to the door, but the grandma had came to the door. And I'm asking her, I'm like, Where's your daughter? And she's talking about somebody want your granddaughter. You know what I'm saying? And she slammed the door in my face. So I went down the steps and I hid behind one of those rocks because the rocks were standing up, but the building was made like the Stonehenge. So I knew she was going to come outside looking to see if I left. And in this dream, my face popped out to her like, my face popped out to her. If anybody ever saw the Lamo man, when his face scratched out, my face scratched out to her. And she ran upstairs. So I started trying to walk, but I couldn't walk. And I started flying my shoes. <laughs> it ain't funny. But when I think about this dream, when I drink, when I think about the dream, it is funny because my shoes had grew a pair of wings on each side. <laughs> it was some little cute feathers. It was some little cute feathers, and I started flying right. And then, in the dream, I was like, nobody would believe I could do this. So let me get my let me get my phone. In the dream, I I don't brought my iPhone, y'all. So I'm in the phone. I'm trying to get to the camera for some reason. I couldn't find the camera in my phone. It's like when I tried to take a picture, every every freaking uh, social site would come up. Like if I try to press, like you know how you press the camera in your phone, like you'll go to it and you'll press it and it'll come on like I did and that. But this was different. Every time I pressed the camera to take the picture of my shoes, uh, it'll go to a comment. I'm like, damn, what's wrong with my phone? So I take my phone to my son. I'm like, I'm like, uh, nope, nope. This before I, I'm trying to fix this phone. This before I took it to my son. So I'm trying to fix my phone. I can't fix this phone, y'all. So I said, man, let me go get my son to fix it. But before I got him to fix it, I had Ty with me. I said, Ty, come downstairs. I said, I'm going to need you to take a picture of me flying. And I was flying through the neighborhood. The neighborhoods was totally different. I mean, I was flying. I wasn't worried about no wires frying me like, you know, the heart, you know, the, the, um, the cords on the lines. I wasn't worried about that. And as I was trying to take, get tired to take these pictures, I started flying higher up in the air. So I'm like, I got to, I got to slow down my speed. I got to slow down my speed. But I'm steady trying to take a picture of my of my shoes, of my feet, with me in the air flying. I'm like, I could have been like 10 inches or 12 inches above the ground, uh, just sliding across the floor. I wasn't walking in that dream. Once the wings came on them shoes, I started gliding. I was gliding through everywhere, and everybody was looking at me. And I went to my son. I'm like, son, you got to take a picture of these shoes. You got to take a picture of me flying. 
He said, Mama, and this man know how to work computers. He he was born in the age of technology. He was like, I, I, I fixed it. I, I think I fixed it. He said, something up with your phone. He kept going to the Texas. Every time I press the camera, it would go to, like, a media site. I'm like, oh, my gosh, they just don't want me to do this. So the lady, her daughter came back outside. She was like, y'all trying to steal my daughter? You, you a child thief? I'm not going to let you steal my child? I said, what the fuck? And she was like, I'm going to take my daughter with me. And I said, I only came to see why they want to steal your daughter. I said, because I... I don't have to be here. I'm from a whole nother place. I just came to see why, because I heard about they wanted to take you and your daughter, and I'm trying to figure out. But anyhow, she called herself getting mad at me. But in this dream, I wasn't a fighter. I was more like a wing shoe goddess, real talk, because I saw, like, the attire I had on. It was, it was, it was, I don't know, it was like some Greek stuff. It looked like some, uh, yeah, yeah. It looked like similar to what the Anunnaki's wear, those uh, headdress and those shoes that I had on that got those wings on it. And the lady, she tried to come up against me. She tried to rush me, and I I flew back. Like, I slid back, like, because my feet was hovering above the ground. So I, I went back, and then... I said, I'm not going to fight this lady. And I see my cousin. My cousin, she popped up in a dream. Now, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I might need to call call my cousin to check out on, on the ground. Because I haven't spoke. I have, well, I've speak to her on Instagram. But I haven't seen my cousin since I was in my 20s. Okay, I'm headed to my 50s now. Just know that. So that's a lot of, lot of years. And she came out. I never forget. She came out the store, and I was standing there waiting on her by a red truck. And she said, what's wrong with you? You look. And I told her the story. She said, oh, I'm finna go get them. Then I thought about it. She was running towards the house, and I had to push her. I pushed her back with one arm. She was sliding. She was sliding. She was like, she was like, let me help you, cousin. Let me help you. Then I thought about it. I said, no, nah, we can't. I can't fight. I said, we can't fight them. We we can't fight them because that ain't the way that I came down here for them. I can't fight them. And she said, oh, man, cuzzo. And she, I put in that red truck. It was a red truck. It was a, a pickup truck, to be honest. I think it was probably a Dodge truck. That's what I'm thinking. It was a Dodge two-door pickup truck that she got in and she drove off and I went back to that building and I looked around that rock and I saw all the people rejoicing and I got up from the dream. I said this is one of the craziest, weirdest dreams. It, it did to me, that dream really don't make any sense. Like I I, I don't see any sense in it. The only part that made it, any sense to me in it was when my cousin popped up out, coming out the store, the store had two glass doors. You could see the store. It, but the funny part about this dream was only only the light in the store that I could see and the lights outside because it was dark, dark. It was so dark that you couldn't see no other buildings. And she walked out that store. She had something in her hand. She was like, let me help you. I'm, I'm going a, I'm to a beat there. I'm like, nah, this ain't the way to go. Even though I went to her for help, but I thought about it. I have to help them, and I woke up, and is there anything else I would like to say? No, nah, but just that, that was, I can't make no sense of the wings growing on the shoes. It was white feathers that was on my shoes, and the funny part of it, my shoes was like golden, like I had on a pair of golden shoes, and I know them shoes had to, that's probably why I couldn't walk, <laughs> but it's like them shoes had some technology in them, I don't know, maybe that's the next invention, a pair of flying shoes <laughs> with some wings on them, but yeah, that was the dream, but it was a surprise, because my cousin, her face was as clear as light, like, yeah, it, it was so clear to me. She had on her glasses. She had her hair back in a ponytail. I saw her in my dream. And I'm out.